So today's video, we are going to cover how to push a product from Printful to your Etsy account. So this is your dashboard. You're gonna start out here, head over here to the store icon, and then you are going to add product. And then you can choose any product that you would like. You wanna go with the t-shirt. I usually go with the Bella canvas and a lot of people seem to like the Bella canvas. I know it's quite a bit more expensive, but I do sell these for more than I would sell a Gildan shirt. So the profit margins end up being pretty similar. So what I do is choose my Bella canvas and then I choose a color that I want. For this example, we're just gonna go with the mauve, but you can choose other colors as well if you'd like. And uh, mauve seems to be a pretty good seller usually. And also I like mauve because I can show you a white design on it or a black design on it. What you would do is go ahead and set up your design. If you don't like that design, then you can choose, like say you want a, a white design, you know, you can do that as well. It just depends on what you want, white, or black shows up well on this. And then you wanna go to proceed to mockups. And here you can choose whatever kind of mockup you like. A lot of times I like to put them on people and then zoom in real nice to them if I need to. Here you can search on Etsy and look for someone who has really great SEO and sometimes, and oftentimes I'll just copy and paste it. It's keywords, you know, it's not like it's stealing their designs or something. And then here I have a, a file that has my description for every Bella Canvas t-shirt that I sell. I have that template that I always plug in and so I like to do that for my descriptions. You can leave this, add a size guide as an image it will put up a very generic size guide that looks pretty much exactly the same as this with a white background you can do that in my experience that does not help with my conversion rate at all whenever I put a combination of this kind of a stock image that everybody like a lot of different people use and then this, like I feel like that combination doesn't normally produce great results for me. So I do usually customize my thumbnails in Etsy whenever we get back to it. I really enjoy doing my tags, especially if I'm doing a run of like a lot of Christmas designs, which by the way, if you haven't gotten your Christmas designs up, now is the time to do it. This is really nice if you like I was saying, if you're pushing a bunch of like fall designs or a bunch of, you know, Halloween designs, it's so nice to push them all together here because all you have to do, you have your links right here. All you have to do is just click them and it's like, perfect. Now I don't have to think about what tags I wanna use because I can just use the tags that make sense with this product that I used on the last product. And that is why I really like to do my tags in Printful because it's so much easier that way because it just clicks half the time. And then here, of course, is the categories that show up on the sidebar in your shop. So if you want it to be fitting in one of those, then this is where you would choose that. And then you can display it with free shipping. If not, then it will display to your customers. $3.99 plus is what they uh, would present to your customer. So this is typically what I would charge because I almost always have a sale going. I like to run a 10% off sale. This price point seems to work well. I can even sell a shirt for $23.99, honestly, if it's a good design, but typically I I will put it on sale for 10% off, which comes out to be about $21.50 for the shirt. If I recall right, that ends up being uh, around about $2 profit margin after Etsy takes their fees and I pay Printful for their, their product. Now, granted, that's only with United States shipping too. So keep that in mind. I normally finish this off over in Etsy. And so you want to push the product to your store. So it's it's pushing to Etsy right now. And then we'll just head over here to Etsy, popped up in our drafts. So as you can see, this is uh, what the size chart looks like. I normally like to go in and hit up one of these kind of size charts because I just feel like it looks much better 
even with this generic image, it still looks way more Etsy. Um, it just makes it feel more like you're not a print on demand seller, in my opinion. I feel like some people are turned off by print on demand sellers on Etsy. I like to make it look as little print on demandy as I can. I don't know. I feel like it, it works better that way. Over here, you want to do uh, another company or a person. And then if you have the colors, if you're offering more than one, don't choose this because then it'll make all your other colors disappear in your variations. Uh, you can choose your style. You can uh, choose an occasion. So if it's like pride month was last month, that was a, that's a good selling month. If it's like a graduation shirt or, you know, wedding or bachelorette, then that's where you would choose that. This is for holidays, things like Christmas, 4th of July, you know, Halloween, Father's Day, Mother's Day, all that. And then here you have your sleeve length and your neck. And I like to make all of my listings manual when I first start showing that listing because I like to run it through the test of how did it perform before I set it to automatic renewal just so I'm not spending 20 cents on something that has been viewed the entire time that I've ever had it listed. I just don't, you know, what's the use in paying for something that no one wants. Obviously you want it to be a physical product because they will receive a product. This is your description and you must add a print printful as your partner here since we're doing printful and then obviously your tags. I like to fill all of them out. So, you know, it'll be good. Those will be done for you already. And here, the only thing about this is that a lot of times I hate that it says men's on it because on Etsy, so many, of the shoppers are women. The only problem with fixing this, first of all, is that you will have to go back in to Printful and resync your products, which I cover in a in the video that I'm going to link here at the end of this. I'll cover how to sync those products in that video as well. Anyway, so here's how you would change it if you want to change it to something else. What I do is I click none of these work, create a new variation, and then just say unisex, small, medium, large. Anyway, you get the idea. And then I like to do prices and quantities vary on this and then do update. And then what you would, excuse me, delete this, update. And then this is going to allow you to price individually for things so that if you have the larger sizes, you can price them higher if you need to. This also allows you to keep your inventory straight if they go out of inventory on something and you just want to be able to keep track of that. Like this, you can do that. And you know what, this is would be a lot easier if you clicked all of these and just did update price. So you can do that, show you how to do that. And then I like my free shipping profile, like I said, and I'm gonna do a video on how to create one of these, I think, in on a future day. And then you would just hit publish. If you want to publish it, I'm not going to publish this because it's just, it's not, it's just a test design for you guys. So I'm going to just click save as a draft. And because I didn't publish it, then it won't go. I don't think it'll go over to Etsy needing to be synced. Luckily for you, I covered that in the video on how to sync items, first of all, and also how to create this listing that I created here in my Etsy, which then goes to Printful. And I also troubleshoot for you the problem where when you create a listing here in Etsy that it doesn't show up in Printful, in your Printful store. I cover that problem as well in that video. So you can check out that video right over there. You have a wonderful day and I appreciate you so much for watching. Until next time, live your best life. Bye.